welcome to Pindi Cricket Stadium. We're here for the final game in Pindi and it's quite an important one with uh, a lot of permutations lined up for you in terms of the uh, playoffs. We've got Islamabad United and they are taking on Multan Sultan. Well, it's great to be back uh, on pitch side. It's a really pleasant uh, day here in Pindi and we've got a fantastic encounter in the form of Islamabad United. They're taking on Multan Sultans. It's an important game. We're talking about those playoffs. Let's have a quick look at the league table first to see where these teams stand and understand why this game is so important. If Islamabad United win, they are into the playoffs. Multan Sultans also have an incentive of uh, playing well today because if they win, then they make it into that top two, which means that they get two bites at the cherry uh, in the end, which is going to be fantastic for them. Whereas if Islamabad United lose, then the situation is that they would be hoping that Koira Gladiators and Karachi Kings will have to lose their remaining games for them to have a chance. So it's a huge game for Islamabad United and I'm sure that uh, they will be bringing in their A game today. I've been joined in the studio by Amir Suhail and Mark Butcher. Amir, uh, Great, uh, great contest is lined up for everybody who's following the HBL PSL because we still don't have a confirmed top four. And that's why I'm in anticipating an intense game uh, because Islamabad United has, uh, uh, you know, a team which can really trance Multan Sultan. Although Multan Sultan has really played well, yeah, they they take wickets and they got batters who could actually uh, bat uh, the opposition out of the game. So I'm anticipating a very, very intense game here. It is going to be an intense game. And like I said, Multan Sultans is also going to be hoping to win because they want to finish off in that top two, Butch. Yeah, very important for them to, uh, to get two chances. They've played good enough cricket all the way through the tournament to, to deserve that. But of course, you've got to earn it all the way, haven't you? It's no good coming out of the blocks like a, like a shot and then fading away at the end. So very important that they pick up that win. Um, but of course, Karachi Kings will be watching this with, with enormous amount of, uh, amount of uh, interest as well because uh, if Islamabad United happens to slip up, then that paves the way for them to, to find their way into, into the playoffs themselves, having languished in fifth place for most of the tournament. Absolutely. A lot is at stake in this game and I can tell you that Islamabad United have at least started off well because earlier on they did uh, happen to win the toss, Shadab Khan's team. Uh, they are up against Mohammad Rizwan and they elected to field first. It's a decision we've seen Shadab Khan make plenty of times especially when it comes to Pindi. Home conditions for him overall and he seems to really back chasing in these conditions. Multan Sultans then uh, uh, Amir they've made quite a few changes and they're up here uh, hoping for a win. Yeah, it's kind of a like for like isn't it for Multan Sultan when you talk about overseas players Milan is not there uh, and, and they have uh, brought in Usman who's an overseas player. He's a very uh, kind of an able batsman who, who scores runs and then they brought in Yasser Ali. He's another highly talented young player. Uh, they got uh, Johnson Charles who can really, really tonk the ball and uh, up the ante. And the bowling wise, you know, they got wicket takers in their lineup. Osama Mir is there, he's the highest wicket taker. Yeah, they've got a very well uh, balanced side over on Islamabad United, but the good news for them, Butch, is that Nassim Shah is back. Yes, the Shah brothers are, are back in tandem once again. That's really good news for Islamabad United, uh, particularly in terms of taking wickets in the power play. Tamal Mills maintains his place in the side. We're not sure whether Ruman Ri is, is still injured or whether he's been prepared to preferred. Um, to uh, Tim R. Mills. Tim R. Mills took 3 for 34 in the win over Karachi Kings and really impressed there. And other than that, that, you know, it's pretty much the same team that they've got. Very well balanced. Shadab is having a terrific tournament as captain and they've got the wild card of Azam Khan in the middle order as well. Absolutely. Well, the Islamabad United did confirm that Roman Rice is injured. He got hit on the toe, which is why he's not playing today. So just to confirm, that is the reason why he's not playing. Bowled really well. But Tamal Mills also did a fantastic job. One guy who's been doing a fantastic job for Multan Sultans is Usman Khan. Wasn't playing the game, uh, the earlier game, but he's uh, in form today. And what a hundred we've witnessed from him in the HPL PSL. Really yeah, been, has taken it up. Yeah, he's been brilliant. You know, last time when I saw him playing, he was all about aggression. But this time around, he has brought in softer skills in his play and that's where he makes the difference and he is I think one player who is talked about in the opposition's camp 
in the dressing room that how to get rid of him as soon as possible. He's got uh, a wide array of strokes and he knows when to charge at the baller and when to hold back. So that's why I, I'm impressed with his uh, attitude now. Absolutely, he was magnificent for Multan Sultans. They've made quite a few changes, like we spoke about. You know, they're looking like an overall good side. But Islamabad United, uh, Butch, mm. just uh, the, the way you've sort of seen them in this entire HPL PSL, that bowling lineup, having Naseem Shah in, you know, in just that power play, it's just such an advantage. Yeah, it certainly is, and, and they've kind of based their their game around the fact that they want to take wickets. Um, in the early part, put the uh, opposition under pressure, not allow them to build partnerships. And so, uh, you know, Nassim and, and Ruman Riaz, who have sadly won't be playing today, have been absolutely dynamite in the, uh, in the power play. You do that to teams and you cause them an enormous amount of, amount of problems because losing wickets, you lose three in the power play, you, you're generally destined to lose the game anyway. And so they'll be coming out full bore, uh, having won the toss and decided to bowl first. Uh, and hoping that they can do just that. You get rid of the top order, knock over Rizwan early, um, start to get into that middle order, try and get rid of Uzman Khan before he gets his feet under the table, and, uh, and the jobs are good. And they also utilized Imad Vaseem really well in that previous game, Ahmed, because they, he was bowling in the power play. And we've seen him bowl in different phases of the game, but do you think that's the correct uh, sort of time to be using him? I think he's gaining confidence, that's for sure. And uh, the reason why he met success for me in the previous game, he actually stuck to his strengths. You know, earlier on, we saw him flighting the ball too much, uh, doing uh, other things which were not uh, associated with the Imad Vaseem. He bowled quicker. And then odd ball, slow one, tried to turn the ball. And he found uh, that, that confidence to be able to compete well at this stage. Quick thoughts on Fahim Ashraf as well. He's really sort of improved in this HPL PSL. Yeah, he has. He's one of two, actually. Ahmed Jamal has also had a, a terrific um, resurgence as an all-rounder, uh, which is great news for Pakistan cricket, great news for Islamabad United, that Fahim, with both bat and ball, is starting to fulfil the promise that he's shown um, earlier on his career. Uh, he's another one that has just got started to get a little bit more pace, hitting the pitch a little bit harder. You have to do that here in Pindi. And, of course, he can be very, very dangerous in a run chase when it comes to uh, finishing games off down the order. So he's been, uh, he's been very much somebody that I think has come under a bit of flack in exactly the same way as Ahmed Jamal and he's been answering his critics in the best way possible which is taking catches, scoring runs and taking wickets. Absolutely. He seems to be growing in confidence. Uh, like Butch rightly pointed out, he was lacking a lot of confidence. His bowling was uh, lacking the rhythm and wasn't amongst the runs. But not to be now. In the last few games, uh, it seems like uh, everything is going well for him. Thank you so much for your thoughts, Butch Thank and you. Amir Swell. It's the last game here in Pindi. The crowd is out. We're expecting a full house once again. Pindi, you've been magnificent throughout the HPL PSL. Fantastic one. We are it now.